Welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate gesture and voice control based virtual mouse project. The project's main goal is to create a hands free virtual mouse system. The project eliminates the need of physical mouse while users are allowed to interact with the computer using webcam and speech using various image and audio processing techniques. The motivation for virtual mouse design is in near future, the virtual mouse will be replacing the physical mouse because the people are targeting towards the lifestyle where everything can be controlled remotely without involvement of any physical devices such as mouse and keyboard. Also, the virtual mouse is convenient and it is also a cost effective. Following are the features of a gesture control system. In this case, uh, we can perform the different operations with the help of uh, gesture. This is the neutral state. We can see here uh, with the help of two fingers, that is the forefinger and the middle finger, we can move the cursor from one position to other position. With the help of middle finger, we can do the left click. With the help of uh, the forefinger, we can perform the right click. If you want to perform the double click, we can use the two fingers, that is the forefinger as well as the middle finger here. If you want to select some files and then drop it into some other place we can use this gesture you can select uh, the folders and then you can drop it at some other position following are the features of a voice controller in this case uh, with the help of a voice controller we can launch and stop gesture recognition we can perform the google search we can perform a search on google map we can perform the file navigation the current date and time can be displayed. We can copy the content uh, from one file into another file here. The Jerry app can be put into sleep mode and then we can wake up at the later stage. Finally, we can exit the Jerry app in this case. I will demonstrate each of these uh, features again at the later stage. First, we will understand how can we set up this particular project so that we can launch gesture control as well as the voice controller app in this case. You can follow the link given in the description below to download the project. Once you download the project, you will get the complete source code, the project documentation, as well as the instruction file. The gesture controller and the Jerry are the main Python source codes here. You will get the PPT as well as the report of this project. You will get a readme file where all the instructions are written so that you can set up the project properly. Requirement.txt contains the necessary libraries in this case. Now to set up the project, uh, first we need to open the Anaconda prompt here. Once you open the Anaconda prompt, first we need to create the virtual environment that is Conda create minus minus name. Here you can see GEST is the name of the virtual environment and this is the Python version here. Once you press the enter button, it will ask you to press either yes or no that is uh, you want to create a new virtual environment or not i will press yes and then i will press enter button here once you do that uh, you will be able to create a new virtual environment uh, successfully next we need to activate the virtual environment you can use this command here that is conda activate gest that is what i have written here once you press the enter button you will be able to move to a new environment that is gst you can see here previously it was base now it is the GEST in this case. Now, uh, what we can do here is uh, we can uh, install the necessary libraries that can be done with the help of uh, this command that is a pip install minus r requirements.txt. All the required libraries will be installed. Once all the libraries are installed, next we need to install uh, two more libraries that is uh, pyadio. You can use this command to install uh, pyadio. Once the pi audio ins is installed, we need to install another library that is pywin32. You can use this command to install uh, pywin32. Once the pywin32 is installed, next uh, you can uh, uh, launch the gesture controller app with the help of this command that is python gesture underscore controller dot py here. Once we open the gesture controller application, this is how the interface will look like. Uh, in front of the webcam, we can uh, place our hand. Based on uh, the finger movements, we can control the different applications here. 
now uh, you can see here uh, the fingers as well as the position of each of those particular fingers recognized and whenever we want to open uh, or we want to perform the right click you can press uh, the four finger here whenever i press the four finger you will get the window like this one similar to what we get in the right click with respect to mouse here you will do one thing i will move the mouse pointer with the help of uh, the two fingers that is a four finger as well as the middle finger till the refresh and then i will use the middle finger to press the refresh here so whenever i press the middle finger you can notice here the refresh button is activated similarly i will open one more time the right click here i will go up to you can say the new and then uh, you can see here i will press the left button with the help of middle finger i will be able to get the other uh, pop up window within that i can select the folder with the help of again the middle finger that is nothing but left finger here similarly uh, i will click the right button one more time and then uh, you can see here i will get a pop up window uh, i want to open a terminal so i will go up to open in terminal with the help of two fingers once i select uh, open in terminal with the help of middle finger that is left mouse button i will be able to open uh, open in uh, terminal successfully in this case now i will try to open the file explorer i will go to file explorer with the help of uh, the two fingers and then i will use the middle finger that is nothing but the left mouse button and then i will open the file explorer here you will be able to see different uh, files in this case i will select uh, one file with the help of uh, the all finger select and then i will drop that particular file into some other uh, folder here for example you can see here by catch is uh, selected and then i will paste it into the web folder here so i have to drop it here so once i drop it it will be moved to that particular folder uh, now i will open that uh, uh, web folder with the help of again the middle finger you can see here the package has been moved into web folder here this is how the gesture control uh, system can be used to control the different applications now i will discuss uh, how can we use a voice controller based virtual mouse for that reason uh, first we need to switch to gst virtual environment with the help of conda activate gst command now once you execute this command uh, we will be shifted to gst environment here we need to type a command called as python followed by the application name that is jerry.py so that we can open the jerry application here now once you type this command and then execute uh, we will be able to open the jerry application once the jerry voice controller application is opened we can give different commands it will convert the speech into the proper commands and then the different uh, operations will be performed here now i will demonstrate uh, each of the features uh, uh, with the help of uh, voice commands in this case jerry list files jerry current date Jerry, time now. Jerry, find the current location. Belgam, Karnataka. Perfect. Jerry sleep Jerry wake up Jerry search for prime minister of india This is how the gesture and voice control based virtual mouse works. I hope you like this project. If you want to download the complete source code as well as the documentation, you can follow the link given in the description below. 
If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.